Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how you can add support for Super Nintendo Entertainment System on Emulation Station on Ubuntu. If you haven't checked out our previous tutorial on how to install Emulation Station, you'll need to do that first. To get started, you'll need to download a ROM online of a game you want to use with the emulator. These are easy to find, but we're not going to provide any links to these locations with this video. Next you need to create a folder for these ROMs. In the previous video, we created a folder called ROMs in our user's home directory. Within this folder, we'll create a new folder for the ROMs for this emulator. To do this, type in the following line. Now transfer your ROM that you downloaded to that folder. You can easily do that through the folders menu if you don't want to use the terminal. There's a few configuration steps we need to take care of to get this working. In the previous video, we opened a file called es underscore systems.cfg. We'll need to access this again. To open the file, type in get it followed by the path in the video description. Now we can add the information for this console we're going to add. In the video description, you'll find a block of text that you'll insert into the file. It's in the same template as the original, but we've removed the comments. Add this on the line before the closing bracket for the systems list. At this point, Emulation Station is set up and we'll be able to launch Super Nintendo Entertainment System ROMs. To test it out, we'll launch Emulation Station from the terminal and launch the game we downloaded earlier. Thanks for watching this video on adding support for Super Nintendo Entertainment System to Emulation Station on Ubuntu. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out our previous video if you haven't yet that goes over how to set up Emulation Station and RetroArch on Ubuntu.